is difficult to measure the value of software. Some say it's measured by features. Some believe it comes from the joy it brings. Other folks say it can't be measured at all. Ah, oh, Well, we don't know anything about that. We just deliver. One lifetime free update at a time. Welcome to FL Studio 20.8. Nice intro, thanks buddy. Well, we've got a lot to cover, so let's jump straight in with new tools. Frequency Splitter. Use Frequency Splitter to split audio into two or three bands using linear phase or zero latency filters. Choose slopes between minus six to 96 dB per octave. Visualize frequencies with a frequency histogram, heat map, or dual display. In linear phase mode, recombining the split audio will be identical to your original input signal. Let's see some examples. Perform sidechain frequency splitting. Here we've split audio into two frequency bands, low and high and routed the bands to separate mixer tracks using the output controls. Frequency Splitter is also perfect to sidechain out the high end for effects like reverb to avoid muddying the low end. Frequency Splitter is also an ideal tool in Patcher. We've used it here to create a multi-band effects chain in a single effects slot. <laughs> Instrument Tuner When you need a tuner, you need one. Tuner has dial and line visualizations. All you need to help tune guitars, brass and woodwind, or for inspecting frequencies in monophonic sounds. Vocalists, get on pitch or use tuner for ear training. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Improve plugins. Parametric EQ2 has had a massive upgrade. We've added a linear phase mode, and you can now edit frequencies without affecting the phase, where that's important. Attention was paid to low latency processing at the lowest CPU. And artifact free, high slew rate band modulation. With the new band mute and solo switches, you can now easily disable bands from the switches on the lower right. We've also added Solo on Shift to help you identify target frequencies quicker than ever. Hold Shift and click the bands to solo them. Right click the Solo icon to choose the mode of operation. Adaptive mode solos bands differently depending on their type. Or use simple band pass mode. Check the manual for details. And we've improved the standard filter mode too. You can now avoid phasing artifacts when mixing wet and dry signals with the high quality switch. And the moment you've all been waiting for since we introduced frequency splitter, improved display modes, including a frequency histogram. Nice. But wait, there's more. You can also combine the histogram with the original heat map view. In full, above, we call this Aurora mode, and below. There's also a phase rotation display so you can inspect phase alterations when you're not in linear phase mode.
But of course, we didn't stop there. Maximus has received the new visualizer too, with all the same options. Yes, we've also included a new improved linear phase mode, available right on the front UI. Sampler. In response to your request, we've added audio copy and paste to the channel sampler and audio clip preview window. Right click the waveform to copy and paste via the audio clipboard. Pasting also creates a new file, which is handy for sound design. The paste feature makes swapping in edited samples a breeze. Flex. Flex has been treated to a new browser with three views to help content management and discovery, plus a random preset button that randomly chooses presets from the selected pack, search results, or all. And by popular demand, you can now disable the arpeggiator on many presets that use it. The icon will turn orange when available to deselect. Excellent. Transistor base. Never satisfied with great, we locked our team away in the lab with a disassembled TB303, oscilloscope and endless supply of pizza. The result? they produced our most accurate emulation ever. They weren't allowed out until a panel of TB303 experts couldn't identify real versus emulated patches. Hello, guys, can I come out now? The visualizer. In the visualizer, it's easier than ever to create layers with drag and drop workflow for images and video to the main editor. Need a YouTube thumbnail for an image for further editing? You can now save a still from imported video and images too. We've also delivered faster real-time performance for video with an optional loading of video to RAM. This helps lower CPU and allows faster VJ style jump cuts. Finally, we've improved render speeds with native NVIDIA accelerated codecs available on Windows. Control surface and patcher. Populate layouts faster with the new right click duplicate option. Excellent. Improved workflow. Merging automation clips. You can now merge automation clips selected from any playlist tracks into a single clip using the playlist edit menu, merge automation clips. Assign the new clip to control all previous targets, the first clip's target, or none. Great, and while we're here, you can now avoid unnecessary linking when cloning automation clips. Right click automation clips in the channel rack and pick a panel and use clone with links to create a new clip with the target links intact. Great, and although you can't see it, Automation clips now have increased precision in the back end to reduce rounding errors for control and parameter automation. Glitch free plugin loading. You'll now find that loading plugins is much smoother with gapless instrument loading. For example, here's FL Studio 20.7 versus 20.8 loading FL keys. Initialize controls. Enjoy simple removal of initialized control positions with the new right click control option, delete initial value. <laughs> <laughs> 
No more hunting for pesky initialized controls in the browser. Yay. Keep a lid on project file sizes with the new general settings project data size warning. You can change the threshold or disable it. This will let you know when you've reached your maximum limit for a project file size. VST and AU plugin support. Aftertouch is now recorded to 16 separate MIDI channels. These are listed at the end of the generator's parameter list in the browser. Wrapper troubleshooting. Solve problems faster with the updated wrapper options. We've added a new troubleshooting tab to collect together all the relevant options. For example, there's a new fast idle mode to increase the frame rate for some plugin editor windows. Language support. Introducing native language support for Chinese. More languages to come soon, including German, French, and Spanish, to name a few. Visit the user forums if you'd like to get involved. See the video information for a link. While we're here, where an option requires a restart, FL Studio will automatically prompt you to do so. I think this is the language option. Ah, yes. Yay, updated unlock panel. We've made unlocking FL Studio from the about panel clearer, so more people are less confused about how to get their license working. You can use your account, a file, or redeem purchase product codes from third-party vendors. And one last thing, there's now an option to select flat buttons by right-clicking the toolbar. We'll leave you with the new demo project, Right Night Feeling by Atar, featuring Maran and Elise. With that, we're sure you'll love FL Studio 20.8 just as much as we love your lifetime free updates. If you text me, say you need me Even if it ain't real, you're just missing me I'll be on the way, we'll spin and get it free I'll be here Spending time on the right sheets We ain't tired, but I think we need to sleep Then I think about your body, feel your fantasies We don't sleep, we can't sleep Split highs be you In bed, in the pool Moves on to Tell me what you need, cause I need you better I'll set the car to red Temperature 68 A bed made for two Say what you need cause I need you better I can make it like a dream for you Like a fantasy that just came true Right now I feel it when you say ooh La 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 I'm a lay by you from the left side Keep your clothes called the fourth Somebody can claim this up.